Christmas, Erin. Kagia, you may want to freshen up. Just because it's Christmas doesn't mean I have to be so formal. Besides, I didn't oopsie and forgot to do laundry. But that's okay. You and Raisin are used to seeing me walk around in my panties. Oh, uh, Lei Kishin. Hello, princess. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about I freshen up a bit? <laughs> Would you like more tea, Lady Iago Koro? Grayson, why don't you relax and enjoy the holiday? You don't always have to be available to serve us. But what if a patient comes in? They'll need to be treated. I can treat anyone that comes in just fine. Just go out and have a good time. No, it's fine. Let her keep serving us. After all, serving is all she can really do. She doesn't have any ambitions or dreams to fulfill. There is no other purpose for her. In fact, why don't I take her back with me so she can resume her duties to the Lunarians? You know, maybe you're right. I think I will take the day off. This should help you recover much quicker. You'll be back to normal in a few days. This isn't going to give me any more red dreams, is it? Don't worry. There are no strange ingredients, and the concoction you took the night before should wear off eventually. But I still feel woozy, and my tummy hurts, and it hurts when I pee. It should be out of your system in a few hours. Just be sure to avoid any alcohol. That goes for fatty foods as well. And spider eggs. Don't eat spider eggs. Make sure to eat plenty of grass as well. Grass is helpful. And don't squat either. For some reason that aggravates it further. And don't get too close to the fireplace. You'll end up boiling your insides. It is also preferable if you sleep on your stomach to help alleviate any stress. Oh, and you're going to get violent diarrhea at some point. Are you done? No. I'll write you a list later. By the way, are you in your period? Or do you mind having your ovaries destroyed? I guess I can't be too mad, I was being stubborn and kept pushing people away, but after being mentally damaged by those horrible visions, that will give me nightmares for years to come, I now realize the error of my ways, that's why I want to apologize, I'm sorry I judge everyone at ENT, especially your reason, I'm sorry I say terrible things about you. And I want to apologize too, I should have never said I gave up on you. I'm just happy that we're friends now. Yeah, that's for the best. I believe Sagume has something to say. My apologies for making you go through that. I just wanted to help Erin with her machinations. Do not be misled by my dream self. She tends to shoot first and ask questions later. I just want to let you know that despite being a Lunarian, I have no plans to take anyone back to the moon, and I have no animosity with anyone in Jinsakyo. So please accept my offer of friendship. Yes, I understand and I forgive you. I know you are someone I can trust- Hello, Doctor. My fantasies of being a moon rabbit continue to persist. I am even thinking of buying that overpriced rabbit fur suit on- Ignore that last part. I forgot to delete it. It's shame that you had to lose your home. Yes, but it's okay. I can always find a new spot to build the Moon Rabbit Sanctuary. Yeah, you'll find a new place. Though I'm mad at Chimata for having to resort to this. I'm not too mad. Besides, I'm sure that karma will see justice serve. What do you mean? I just have a feeling, that's all.
Why must you be open during Christmas? Every other store is closed today. That's exactly it. With every other store closed, we're in an advantage situation. We're the only choice when it comes to their shopping needs. That means more profit for me, and you get the privilege of another workday for your favorite goddess. But we've only had three customers today. Give it some time. We just opened. We opened six hours ago. You made me get up early in the morning for three customers. Calm down. It's not like you have any plans today. You have no friends. Remember? Thank you. Shan, what is going on? We're supposed to be hanging out today. Why are you working on Christmas? I have no choice since Dun sold me to Chimita as part of their partnership deal. What kind of terrible person makes someone work during Christmas? Christmas isn't even an original Gensakyo holiday, so humbug to that. Come on, Shian, you're hanging out with me today. Shian is going to remain here until the workday is over. You're not taking my property anywhere. You can't hold her hostage like this. I'm taking her with me. Are you aware that I'm a goddess? Are you aware that I'm a celestial? A celestial? Have you heard about our franchise program? How would you like a lunar rainbow superstore location up in heaven? Thank you. You owe me some money. Hey, no homeless allowed in my store. You the owner of this here, Shindy? Well, according to our contract, you owe me a whole bunch of chitterlings from my consecration services. I didn't order any such thing, and even if I did, I wouldn't want it done by someone that looks like they just rummaged through my garbage bins. Shion. Is this your cousin or something? I know that. That cousin was done by the previous owner. Little blue-haired Peter Cotton Bun Bun girl, nobody meet. Then deal with her and get out of my store. You're stinking up the place. It's bad enough I gotta deal with Shein's lice problem. I listen here, little lady. That cousin don't say what kind of creature that I asked for my daily five human toes. That contract clearly states, to the owner of this here name to whom it may concern. That means that whoever owns this land has to oblige by the contract here, here. That contract was signed by that blue-haired loser, and I'm not talking about she in here. Deal with her, not me. But wait a minute, aren't you the goddess of markets? Yeah, what about it? Then it's your job to uphold that contract since you own this land now, don't you think? After all, even this here land here was clearly owned by that blue-haired bun bun, and you ain't gonna honor that contract that was in days before, then you stole this land from Mona. I don't knew any such thing. The land was purified. It was clear of all responsibility. That includes that contract. Isn't your whole thing about possession and accountability? Stop making excuses and take responsibility like you're always telling us to. I had enough of this. I want all you troublemakers to leave my store. You are banned. Except for you, Shion, get back to work. Now wait, just a gosh darn kind of ticket hundred minute here. I says to you, I don't take kindly to folks who bring my contracts. I am the goddess of markets and exchange. By my whim, I can cancel any legally binding obligation, including that poor excuse of a napkin you call a contract. By my power, I declare that contract nullified. Let's see you, a mere yukai, beat that. Yeah, that's true. I'm just a mere bitty mamba compared to you. But suppose another goddess decided that they had enough of your town foolery, like say, a goddess of misfortune and poverty or some such. One who's been pushed to a lens is about to splurt all that pen of rage on us. That you've done that don't happen. You've been wishing you didn't know and board my contract. I don't suppose you know how to create a sanctuary for your store, do ya? Wait! How do your services? Time, but I've done work in the holidays. I can see that you are quite miffed about working during Christmas. So, how about I take it easy on you for today? And instead of a 10 minute lunch break, you can have a 15 minute lunch break. Well, if it isn't Siren, the one who failed to bring Ringo back to my party, you had one job and you couldn't even do that, you can't even be a good doormat when needed, maybe you should change your occupation to footstool instead. I'm no longer mad about being rejected from your party, nor do I care about your insults, that is why I'm willing to forgive you. You forgive me? Oh, 
Isn't that nice? That's the first step to being a loyal lapdog. The next step is kissing my feet. Keep at it, and you'll be promoted to kissing my ring. Then perhaps you'll have the privilege of kissing my ass. You know, you are more powerful, influential, and popular than me. I may not have any of those things, but you know what I do have? Being able to walk under the sun without turning to ash. Mr. S wait for me!